picture of some confusion in Georgia as the uh, Russian ambassador to Georgia should be arriving at the foreign ministry in Tbilisi around about now. Georgia says two Russian jets entered its airspace on Monday evening and fired an air-to-surface missile. It struck the ground near the village of Tsitselubani, about 65 kilometers northwest of the Georgian capital, Tbilisi, and about 30 kilometers, that is, south of the breakaway region of South Ossetia. As Jonah Fisher reports. This is what Georgia says is proof that Russia violated its airspace, a deep hole not far from a village. And in the bottom of it, pieces of what appeared to be an unexploded missile. Georgian officials say on Monday night, two Russian aircraft entered its airspace and fired a missile in what it called an act of aggression. There were no casualties. Um, and the way the records show was that they, they flew here about 60 kilometers from the border inside the Georgian territory. And they launched a guided missile right, right here at, at this site. You see now our experts are working here to determine what kind of missile it was. What we know now for sure is that it's a guided uh, air-to-surface missile, extremely powerful. Russia has categorically denied any involvement in the incident. A spokesman said that no flights had been undertaken in the region on Monday night or Tuesday morning. Russia's uneasy post-Soviet relationship with Georgia has deteriorated sharply in the last four years. Georgian President Mikhail Saakashvili came to power in a so-called Rose Revolution and has firmly turned his back on Moscow, pushing for entry into both the European Union and NATO. Georgia has accused Russia of backing separatists in two breakaway provinces. And last year, Russia imposed sanctions on Georgia after it expelled four Russian diplomats. Jonah Fisher, BBC News. Well, let's go over to our Moscow correspondent, James Rogers, who's following this. And James, we've been hearing that the, the actual markings seen on the wreckage don't name the bomb or missile. And there's BPK we can see on it, and yet there's no weapon in the Russian arsenal uh, called BPK. This is what we've been hearing from uh, military experts. Uh, adds to the confusion. It absolutely does, David. I think that's one of the things which the uh, Georgians are trying to establish. I spoke to their interior ministry spokesman just a little earlier today. He was saying those experts working at the scenes trying to work out just exactly where this came from. But I have to say also he was absolutely insistent that uh, this missile had been fired and it had been fired from Russian jets, which he said had violated Georgian airspace. I mean, we see the, again, just looking at the pictures, there's Cyrillic writing on it, at least. Um, I mean, we've mentioned it's come down very close to the border with, North, uh, with um, South Ossetia. The impact of that, the, the significance? Well, of course, that's a breakaway region of Georgia, which is not under the control of the Georgian central government. South Ossetia gets a great deal of uh, political support and has very strong economic ties with Russia. South Ossetia is a main source of tension uh, between the two countries. So I think a lot of people are going to be making the link between this incident, whatever the truth of it turns out to be, and the tension between Russia and Georgia over South Ossetia. James, thanks very much. Now, there's been uh, further violence in East Timor following the announcement of a new...